Hello, folks. I'm sorry, it's time for another cooking show. Um, it's raining. It's uh, the Christmas week, Christmas, New Year's week. My factory is closed down, and I have a thousand things to do with this house so that I can go camping and traveling. So I'm planning on traveling down to uh, the RV show at Tampa. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in RVs in any manner, shape, or form. I'll be doing a three-day walk through with that, I think. But um, my New Year's resolution, like so many other people's, is going to be to try to lose some weight. And I've got this new diet my son went on. If you've seen my son's video, one of my proudest videos, I'll, I'll put the link up here. And it's, um, it's him graduating from college um, with his law degree. And he looks rather large. <laughs> of course, he's in a big black robe and he's got all these awards and, and things hanging around his neck, but he still looks like a very large person. And he started this diet and he's like, he's minuscule. He's like healthy as a rail, but skinny as hell. And um, the research on it is pretty good. It's a fasting diet. It's where you don't eat except for like supper and you can Depending on how your how your willpower is, you can wait until two o'clock or three o'clock or five o'clock, but you don't eat breakfast, lunch, just dinner, and that gives your body roughly twelve hours of fasting. Um, actually, it gives it eighteen hours of fasting, depending on what time you go to bed, and that makes your body go into kind of a starvation mode, and it starts to use your fat because it doesn't have sugar. And so I've, uh, I've started that and I'm already, uh, four days I've already lost about, I don't know, somewhere between seven and five pounds. So um, I'm gonna continue it. But my cooking, um, and with that, um, I try to eat better food. So um, I'm eating vegetables. This, this here is a spaghetti squash. I'm gonna show you a great way to cook a spaghetti squash and especially if you're a camper, um, as you may know, I bought a Kosari Instant Pot. Uh, my other cook shows have uh, the Instant Pot in it. Um, I think these are great. If you've got electricity at your campsite, if you're at a resort or something, these are the greatest thing to cook in. And I'm gonna show you how to cook a spaghetti squash in a unique way and a great way to eat it <laughs> if you're camping. And to go along with the spaghetti squash, spaghetti squash is basically uh, a squash that comes out in strings like spaghetti. So it's, it's like spaghetti and like any spaghetti, spaghetti tastes pretty bland all by itself. You gotta put something on it. So with the spaghetti squash, Usually people put uh, like pesto on it or garlic butter or uh, various things, but I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna put some of my chili. I got vegetarian chili that I did a while back. Um, I'll put that up here too, if you wanna see the vegetarian chili recipe, but I'm gonna put that with the spaghetti squash, but watch how I do, do it. There's a trick to this, okay? So I'm gonna put it in my Coseri, but before I do that, before I do that, I need to kill it. So we're gonna put some, some slits in it. Just poke it a little bit. Make sure there's no rotten spots on it too. But I'm doing them all around the middle, not on the ends. Don't do the ends, just the middle. And I might cut off this leftover stem just because I don't like it. All right, then we're gonna put it in the Instapot with two cups of water, okay? And that's according to the uh, Coseri Instapot directions. You always make sure there's water in there. No, no, there we go. And then I hit steamed vegetables but it's going to seven, and because that's a big uncut 
spaghetti squash, I want to raise it up. I want to cook time. I want to bring that up to 15. So now it's 15 and then I hit start. And that'll steam that up and it'll be cooked. But um, it actually takes, I don't know, three or four minutes to get the water heated up and boiling. So it's not as fast as you might think. It's still a 30 minute meal. But in the meantime, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my chili, which I have had frozen. Every time I make this, I make so much of it. It lasts months and I take it camping with me. Sometimes I take it camping, I don't even eat it because I might have just a sandwich or, and I'm gonna take this out and I'm just gonna nuke this to warm it up. But I'll be back when this is done, all right? Okay, so it's done. Um, it automatically goes to warm. It doesn't really need to be warm, but I'm gonna empty the steam out of it which is a dangerous thing to do. We're going to fast steam it, de-steam it. I'm going to get my little cutting board here. Now that it's all be done, I can open this and shake the water off it. Put that in the sink for the moment. And here's our spaghetti squash. Quite hot. So I'm going to get a towel to hold it with. Move you back. Now I'm going to test it just to make sure. Yeah, it's nice and done. And I'm going to cut it the long way around. Or, you know, I'm going to cut it this way. Zoom into this. And that's what it looks like. The, uh, the center, like a pumpkin, has seeds in it. And we're going to take a, a big spoon and just scoop those out without disturbing too much of the spaghetti squash squash. And we've got the garbage right here. I have to, people often ask me why I have the garbage up in the air, all the, all through my house, anywhere there's a garbage can, um, the garbage can is up on top of the something, up on top of a table. Now inside, so that's all cleaned out, just spaghetti squash in there. And we take a, you know, I don't know that that's really, Well, that wasn't quite cooked, so I threw it back in there as it was, and we'll uh, steam it for another, once it gets up to temperature. Um, I'm just doing it on regular steamed vegetables. I guess maybe I wasn't supposed to let the steam out. Okay, we stuck it back in for six minutes, six minutes and we're going to release it again. You release it with a towel, it's not quite so bad. Generally speaking, if you let it just cool down on its own and release the steam naturally, it takes about five minutes. So what we're doing here is we're cooking it for uh, 20 minutes versus letting it sit in the pot for 20 minutes and not use the electricity. So it's my fault. I can never remember if you're supposed to release steam or leave it in the thing. I think for safety's sake, it's always better probably to let it release naturally. Yeah, 
That's more like what I want. Okay, so we took it out, we cut it in half. We're getting the seeds out, this is the other half. Again, it looks more, a little more cooked in the center, not quite as hard, but still you just, you just scoop the seeds out like this with a spoon. And like a pumpkin, you gotta scrape around the sides. Just let it go in the garbage. And now, since now it's well cooked, to get the spaghetti out of it, we go like this. We take the fork and just pick around the edges and the spaghetti, the squash comes out as like spaghetti strands, just like that. And now for the special idea, although this is like seriously so hot, <laughs> you can't, the shell now makes a bowl. So you've got a bowl of spaghetti squash. And what I'm going to do, bowl of spaghetti squash, and what I'm going to do is I've got my microwaved chili here that I made, oh, I don't know, what, what, when did I make this? Three months ago? Sometime in June, I think. And I'm going to put that right on the spaghetti squash. And I'm going to cheat just a little because that's so hot. But there I've got a bowl with my spaghetti squash and chili. And that's a uh, that's a fantastic vegetarian meal. Now, the, of course, the, the chili by itself is, of course, a pretty good meal. But you get bored with just chili. I mean, I've had this chili a um, hundred times, I'll bet. There you go. That's the uh, funny cook for the day. This is a full meal for my diet. And it's extremely healthy. It has very little carbohydrates in it. <sighs> that spaghetti squash is hot. I it. Mmm, mmm, well, that's good. Now let me show you something else I've got to do. Again, I'm using the Coseri because it's really, I found out a lot of recipes and a lot of neat tricks for it. So let me eat this and I'll be right back. Mmm, mmm. So folks, thanks for watching. I hope if you've got uh, one of the Instapots or Coseries or whatever you got, a uh, pressure cookie, you try cooking your vegetables and stuff in it. There's a lot of great foods that um, you can really cook that make great meals. And especially if you're like me and you're go trying to get a New Year's resolution diet going, um, it's a fun place to, to kind of work with the food. And leave me comments on whether you've used an Instapot or a Coseri. Uh, have you cooked uh, spaghetti squash in it or have you, have you ever had a spaghetti squash? I've only learned about spaghetti squashes in the last couple years. Um, we're going to try an acorn squash. I've got a secret recipe for acorn squash uh, that's going to come up in another week or two. But um, let me know. Thanks a lot. Put a comment below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you would. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little bell downside of the subscribe button and that'll tell you when a video comes up. Have a great New Year's. Bye-bye.